Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about rebasing in Git. So rebasing, the concept of that is, let's say you have a main branch, and then at some point you create a branch off of your main branch. And then inside that main branch, maybe you have some additional commits to it. Maybe it's a merge from another branch or um, you committed more things to your main branch. And you want the latest changes of your main branch to show up in your uh, current branch you're working on. Okay, so those are the situations where you might want to rebase. And when we say rebase, sometimes it could mean two things. It could mean you're using the actual rebase command or you're just merging main into your current branch. So we'll show you both ways. Uh, but typically the main difference between the two is uh, how the commit history will look like. So we'll go ahead and show you uh, merging main into your branch and how that looks like. So let's go ahead and create a branch called, um, call this merge main. So git checkout merge main. So now we are in our merge main branch, okay? So let's say we made a new file called merge main.txt. Okay, and then inside here, let's go back to main. And let's, well, let's first commit it. So let's say git add, git commit merge main, clear this. And then I'm going to do git checkout main. So here I'm going to create a file, um, call this main file one, just so I know that it was from main. Now if I do git add, git commit main file, and then I'm going to do git checkout merge main. So now if I want, notice that uh, our main now has like a main file in there, right? So um, when we created this merge main branch, it doesn't have that main file in there. So what we want to do is rebase um, without the rebase keyword, but instead just merging main into our merge main. So if we do git merge main, notice what's going to happen is the main file one showed up here. Okay. So if we take a look at git extensions, we will see the commit history. So notice what this looks like. It has a uh, merge main here, and then a main file. So merge main was when we created the branch. This, this is what it shows. So we're branching off. And then in here, there's a, or I mean, this mer merge main is the, the file that we created, right? So um, this, this file was created. And then inside here, we have a main file. And then when it got merged, when we merge main, we see that um, it goes right here, okay? So now let's go ahead and show you the other way. So I'm gonna clear this and let's say I do get branch, um, I'm gonna call this rebase main. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is make a file called rebase main.txt. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and commit. Call this rebase main.txt. Now if I do git checkout main, we're going to make a new file in here. We're going to call this main file2.txt. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this and commit. Now if I do git checkout rebase main, notice that the main two file is not there, right? So what we want is we want to uh, git rebase main. So git rebase main brought in the main file too. So if we take a look at git extensions and if we refresh, notice what has happened, right? So notice that 
um, when we rebase, we don't see that branch branch off like we did here. Okay, so we see a uh, rebase main txt. There's a main file to txt here, right? That's the file we created. We had a main file to, and then we have uh, rebase main txt. So all the commit history is in a linear line now. Whereas here we had um, a, a commit history inside our branch. So that is the main difference between rebase and merging main. It's just how your commit history will look like, okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.